Alright, welcome everybody to another episode of Command Combat Battle Reports. Today we, what do we got today? Well, today we have uh, Russians versus Pueblos. Uh, we got, what the hell? We got the Pueblos over here, you know, the uh, you know American Indians that were like in um, New, New Mexico or what later became Mexico and then became New Mexico. And okay, that just, that, wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Uh -huh. I thought this was supposed to be the battles that included the people and the places of the Napoleon Empire and the war that he set off to create said empire. Oh, no, no, no. That's uh, that's that's Napoleon Total War. This is uh, Empire Total War. This is like 1700 to 1800 all the different places and stuff like that. They made more than one of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah they did. They made a whole bunch of them. And, uh, yeah, this is okay, one of the Okay, so what ones. war are we looking at here? What? 1700. What? what? The Hundred Year War that I suddenly missed in history class? And this is the famous Pueblos versus the Russians. This is, uh, yeah, see that... Yeah, there are other battles within this game. So what is the... What war is the game modeled after? Oh. Not this particular battle. Oh, oh, the war is just all these different, like, when everybody was colonizing and the British were going to the Americas and, you know, and, uh, going into Africa and all that sort of thing. And this one... I mean, you get to just choose your army from whatever period, you know. And that, oh, geez, what was that? That was cool is what that was. That was pretty darn cool. But that, okay, it don't make no sense. Oh, I'll explain here in a second. Here, first of all, over here on the Pueblo side, we got Lancers, we got Mounted Gunners, we got some Musket Men, Musket Men, Medicine Men, Medicine Men, so Musket Men, Mac by Medicine Men, you got in the center, you got some artillery, you got Chief's Bodyguard, Warrior Society, Warrior Society, Medicine Men, Bowmen, Bowmen, Medicine Men, Warrior Society. So it looks like their strong side is that side with all the guns, and their weak side is over here with all the bows and arrows, and they're probably going to try to get the Russians to go up that center so they can hit from the two sides. Now on the Russian side, we got line infantry, line infantry, Cossack infantry, so I guess the line infantry guarding the Cossack infantry, hand mortar company, or a hand mortar, yeah, company, Cossack infantry, line infantry, guards, Twenty-four pounder artillery, general's bodyguard, twenty-four pounder foot artillery. I think we saw this Cossack infantry line of tree. Seems like one side's going after that group of trees over on the left, and one group's going after the ones on the right. Doesn't look like they're going for that trap. But this doesn't seem fair at all. See, this kind of battle never would have happened. What's that? One side has guns, and the other people brought bows and arrows to the gunfight. Yeah, welcome to the Americas there, who with the uh, you know Indians versus everybody else wasn't exactly very fair. But, oh, I guess that means this battle really would have happened. Yeah, exactly. Over and over and over, over again. again. Yeah, we're about to see kind of the result of that. Although the Indians probably would not have had this artillery. But we get, they, they had that for, you know, this particular one. And, of course, it's happening, you know, as, as it was always in New Mexico, in the desert. And they're dressed for it, too. You can tell. Oh, that's not snow? Oh uh, yeah, it's well, it's, it's uh, white sand. Yeah, yeah, that's the spirit. That's, white that's the, sandy pine trees. Yeah, that's right. They painted it. They painted it to go with. You see, they had war paint that was, they would camouflage them. See, so like, oh, okay, we'll make the uh, the desert right for us. Oh, uh, they don't look like they're in the desert, honey. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Well, maybe they are in the snow, because then again, the Russians are kind of dressed for it. Because the, those Native Americans, they seem rather pale at the face. They're pale face. He said it, not me. Yeah. So anyway, back to the whole, like, what, what's the deal with the game, the entire game. So there's just a hundred years of random wars going on. Exactly right. So basically, yeah, what they do is they reflect the idea that, because it was during the 1700s, essentially, that uh, all these European nations created these colonies all over the world. So India, Africa, the Americas, all that sort of thing. Run by men. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they all were fighting each other in the, uh, you know, in the Americas were forming, and then of course there was each the other and more men. Yeah, exactly, and fighting the Indians over there and going after their, uh, oh, what was that? Um, see the shining sea. Whoa, charge going on here. Oh, their manifest destiny. There we go. All run by men. Leave it to men. Have all the wars. Women, not so many wars. Yeah, they just have a, you know, a uh, screaming fight where they pull out each other's hair and all that sort of thing. Yep, whoever pulls out the most hair wins. Yeah! That sounds like an interesting fight. Eee! Ah! Scream! And then when you got a, uh, you, when you have a period, uh, the nuclear war hits you. That or else everyone kisses and makes up and like, I'm so sorry! I love you! 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 I hate you! I hate you! Oh, yeah. No, 
honey. That's just what I say to you. Oh. But that's just... because I hate you. I hate you. Ah. Uh, that means it, though. A little bit. So. So, yeah, it looks like that's going this whole bow and arrows versus uh, gun thing going on. So why aren't they falling faster? I mean, the freaking bullets. Yeah, it's true. It's oh. like because we got great armor. It's known as our skin. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Although this was kind of the... Oh, there we go. They're retreating over here. This was kind of the strategy in an era, because, you know, they, they were like, hey, you know what would be good? Cover. <laughs> Getting behind trees and all that sort of thing, and not lining up to, you know, just kind of get shot. Yeah. Unfortunately, they, with the gunpowder and all that sort of thing, that kind of was effective. Not effective. Oh, no, no, the gunpowder was effective. Oh, the gunpowder yeah. was effective. Oh, okay. Exactly. Oh, oh, well, this, this front, they seem to be pushing them back, but, of course, this is the front that they had gunpowder. You will notice that the the Indians are in this sort of more loose formation. That's again the beginning of more of the uh, let's not get into lines. Let's all kind of be a little scattered, which was more effective for avoiding getting hit, but less effective for doing damage. So oh, okay. you'll notice they'll take fewer hits, but they'll also do less fewer hits. That is an interesting little factoid. Cause yeah, I'm always more like guerrilla warfare. That makes more sense to me. It does. I mean, overall, it makes more sense. And stuff. It's just one of the difficulties is you got these muskets at that time. And, of course, muskets will take a little, a little bit longer to load. Ooh, looks like the Russians are getting on these uh, Indians' flanks and everything. Oh, and they're sitting their infantry, or their cavalry in here. Oh, we got a little bit of a freeze here. Well, I mean, I can't imagine that the Pueblos would have any chance whatsoever. In fact, they'd have a better chance if they enjoyed a little bit of my tasty beverage, which this evening is vodka and uh, mineral water or club soda, your choice. Mine, oh, a horse died. Mine is... No! Mine is vodka and Mountain Dew. You know, mine will be a little bit more boring because I usually drink vodka and Mountain Dew. Or just Mountain Dew and whatever you buy. Uh-oh, another horse was down. You bastards! I hope everyone's caught the theme thing right now. I don't like to watch the animals die. It ain't right. These other ones were there. Um, elephants. Oh, and so yeah, the Indians are actually holding off. I guess it was their, their rear forces. The Russians didn't go at them with enough stuff on either flank, so... Huh. That's... It sometimes happens just strategically. It's just they don't send enough. You know, they see a small line up front, and they go at them with a, with a you know, slightly larger force going, okay, we're going to beat them. And then further back here in the woods, like the Indians had a bunch of fort, you know, them here. But the Russians might have only seen the ones at the edge, mm, okay. thinking, oh, that's all there is. So they went in with not enough to take care of. Who are the horses? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, that's the Russians. That's Dragoon. Dragoons were a little bit tougher. So let's see what they. Whoop! Oh, they, uh, <laughs> they turn around really well. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't think we want any piece of that. Oh, but over here, you got. Line, line, lined up and just shooting into them. Oh, it looks like they charged there, but uh, it failed. It's another thing is, uh, the Russians should be just trying to shoot at them and not trying to charge them. That's one thing the Indians are usually better at. Whoop, oh, it's charging, just like they know now. And that's pretty much what you want to do when you play the Indians. You just go run right into them. They got those tomahawks and stuff. Oh, yikes. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're trying to do is it, uh, counting coup is actually getting, okay, you're in the most, oh, yeah, not the guy. Oh, it looks like the Russians are about to win this one, you got, I mean, yeah, they're, they're even better running, you can see when their flags start blinking, that means they're ready to break, and then when they really blink, it means they broke. What's going on on the other flank, then? Oh, so it looks like the, uh, Pueblo have done well on the left, and they're just That was probably the side of the gunpowder. Actually, oddly enough, that was the side without the gunpowder. That's the side that the Russians charged but didn't start charging long enough. The other one, they had gunpowder, which is surprising. They were doing well on the right for a while. Oh, well, I guess they still have some guys there. I kind of expected the side with the gunpowder to do well. 
But that's the interesting thing about these battles, you never know what's gonna happen. Oh! That's hot. <laughs> Tell the mother I loved her! And my grandmother! Wait, how many other people can I include in this before I go? It was like he was dying in a silent film. He was dying in a silent film. It was crazy! I loved it! <laughs> uh, uh, overacting at his finest! Uh. Should I tell your boyfriend that you love him? Eh, ain't worth it. He's kind of a son of a bitch. Tell my mother that I loved him. Oh, oh, they, now, okay, so they, they took out the rem remnants of the, um, Pueblos that were on this side. This was the gunpowder side. So, really, the question in this battle is which is better? Muskets that poke or, uh, axes for hacking? Poking or hacking? Poking or hacking? <laughs> <laughs> this is really all we're determining here. So, any butchers out there, um, your, your input is greatly appreciated. I'm sure you knew what this outcome would be beforehand. Yeah, it's true. Although, one thing that's for certain is you don't want to be a guy with a cannon when a bunch of guys come up with you with uh, tomahawks. Looked like they were going to try to get into close range and then expect to get uh, jumped on like this. There goes the cannon. Yep. Yeah. Got the cannon. So this is about all that's left of the, of the Indians, is this one group. So they're just, they're just kind of wandering around going, who can we kill next? You! We kill you next. Do. You know what? I should know more about the Cossacks. Um, Please uh, feel free to put comments down below and uh, let us know exactly what it is the deal with the Cossacks. Do you see that they Cossacks, Cossacks? Please correct me on that. Um, and also, they seem less about the uniform and more about what they have. Yeah, well, they, I do know that they were kind of an elite group of pretty vicious and all that sort of thing. I knew somebody who was going to do a cartoon about them. It was like going to be a kid's cartoon. And uh, he ended up getting rejected because, yeah. yeah, the actual historical ones were really pretty vicious. <laughs> but his contacts were going to be like a crime-fighting group that ran around, you know. Well, they make shows about ninjas, so... Exactly. He was, he was using Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as kind of like the uh, example of what he wanted to do. He was like, oh, all right. You know, I have been just kind of following the Pueblos and not really following the Indians. It's just kind of funny because it's like, that's where the whole battle is. They're like, let's go get him next! Rawr! <laughs> the Russians are like, we don't want any piece of that one. Let's get out of here. We think they have peyote! <laughs> you, you have peyote! Give us your peyote! Oh, they're just these guys now. Now, here's the thing. If you notice towards the, oh, go back, oh. they were kind of crossing, the, the Bibles were crossing streams here. I would think it'd be easier to split rather than cross, but hey, each their own on that. <laughs> that would be the easy way, though. God. Ooh, yeah, I'd like to have Did you see the sword got yeah. stuck in the guy? He couldn't pull it out. That's what she said. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, he got two. Let's mark them up for this guy before he gets killed. So he's taking out two. Third. Looks like he's getting surrounded. Yeah, I was going to say, they're like, that's enough of that nonsense. Ha ha, flag. Oh, got him. The flag went in as if censoring. He's like, you don't want to watch this. Aww. What, do you have two or three? He had three. 